Yeah, I guess. Ooh. No. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone on you with the pick and roll. Young and flame. Hi, Gacy Weekend Reviews. Back with another video. And this is part two of Take Me Home. Um, I made sure to do all. I think there's only like two endings left in this game, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get them. Uh, should I say do them all in one gameplay? Well, in this whole gameplay. See, the man turns on to West Jackson Street. The sky's real pretty tonight. Maybe this wasn't such a bad idea after all. I guess it's kind of nice. Hey, do you do this kind of thing often? I know you used to go on those late night walks, but this is the first time you've driven. Can't say I have. I guess if you were out driving late at night, I would not notice. So why did you do those anyways? Just need to get out of the house. Mm-hmm. That's the same excuse you're using for this. That can't be all of it. Mm-hmm. Just like I said. Okay, I'll trust you, but later we need to talk about it, okay? Okay. Promise? Promise. Hey, is that a gas station? Ooh. All the way out here? The car rolls up to the gas station. It's in a cement lot, surrounded by forests, surrounded by trees. The driver looks down at the gas meter. Was the gas this low just a second ago? It's nearly empty. Probably wasn't. I guess we're in luck. I guess. The truck pulls into the station and, st and stops at one of the pumps. Hey, how about coffee? Coffee? Yeah, I could go for some coffee. God knows I'm already tired enough. I could use an energy boost. Coffee doesn't sound bad. You know how I have a little shitty gas station coffee. Haha, uh, yeah. I swear you must inject that stuff into your veins. I can fill that up for you while you go in and get coffee, if that's alright with you. I doubt you would want to hang out here. Yeah, let's go inside. I guess I'll go in. Thanks for filling up the truck. No problem. You remember how I take it, right? Of course I do. The man walks to the gas station, taking his wallet with him. The inside is filled with the bright artificial light, bright colored snacks and candle stocks and can candles. Candy stock of the shelves. The man at the counter nods at him. Nice night we're having. I suppose. Do you know where the coffee machine is? It's in the back, over there. The blonde man walks to the back, the to the coffee machine. He gets two cups, one for him and one for the man he was with. The blonde man takes his coffee black, blacker than a sky void of stars, blacker than a cavern, having never seen light for years and years, blacker than you could imagine. Well, okay then. The dark haired man likes it with a bit of sweetener. He's never been much of a fan of bitterness. Once the blonde man has two cups, he starts towards the counter, but pauses near the snacks. They have. They have that kind of chocolate that the better man likes. Maybe I should get some of these for him. He's coming out with me so late at night. I guess I owe him one. You surely do. Yeah, I barely noticed my mic wasn't down this whole time. But anyways, <laughs> the man takes the chocolate and the coffee up to the front and places them on the counter. He pulls out his wallet. Oh, don't worry about that. These are on the house. What? Really? Yeah, you don't need to worry about Peyton. Uh, thanks I guess. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, free means free. You and your friend have a nice night, alright? You too. You don't find that suspicious at all? Oh well. The man walks back outside. The other man waves at him. Hey, I got you some of those chocolates you like. Really? Nice. I love these things. Thanks, man. It's no problem. Takes Phil, we should be set. Good to hear. The two men get back into the car. The car drives down the country road. So how was work today? Same as usual, the old lady. Oh yeah, already we already went through this. Let's see. This 
it's been a while since it's been. Oh yeah, I think I read this one too. Yeah. The car approaches another turn. Uh, let's go to State Road 57. A man turns to State Road 57. You know, back when I was in high school and I was learning how to drive, this is one of the roads I use. Is your old home near here? Can't say for sure. It tends to never be in the same place. Oh yeah, I guess so. Your folks knew that, right? Yeah, sold the place to some young couple and their toddler. Nice knowing it's gonna be some of the kids' childhood home too. I'm pretty sure there's an old diner around here. Should we go in for some food? Nah, I'm not hungry. I mostly just want to see if it's still there. And this is a sign stripped of what it once advertised, now just a bare pole. As a car approaches the sign, the empty lot comes into view. Did they tear it down or something? I guess that's kind of sad. I guess there's not much interest in these kinds of places anymore, especially when they're out here in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. I wonder why they tore it down. The man parks the car and gets out, walking towards the lot. The bearded man follows him. Why are we getting out of the car? Look. The man points at a figure standing in the middle of the lot. Its back is turned to the two men. Maybe they know. No. No. Just, just no. Are you sure we should ask a stranger standing in the middle of an empty parking lot at night about anything exactly? That should be a sign to go home. A car drives by, illuminating the three people on the lot. Talk to them or leave. Uh, oh, might as well. We out here in the middle of the... Wait. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I want to talk to them. Oh, forget it. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Glad you agree. This kind of giving me the creeps. The two men get back into the car. As they situate themselves into the front seat, they notice something. Where did that guy go? Hmm, that's worry worrying. I guess we should just move on, right? Yeah, I guess. Ooh. No. No. The truck pulls out. The two men hear a loud thump from the back. What was that? Don't think it was. You don't think it was. Let's hope not. The two men get out of the car and walk around back. No. No. I could have sworn it sounded like we hit something. If it was an animal or something, then it must have ran off. There's not a dent or anything. Let's just hope for the best. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's all fine. I'm sure it's all fine. The two men get back into the car with an uneasy, uneasy atmosphere following them and following them in and sitting in the back seat. She never got out. The driver anxiously looks into the rearview mirror, half expecting to see the figure from earlier staring back at him. No. Hey, I'm sure it's all right if you say so. The man looks into the rearview mirror one more time. No, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. There's something there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, really? Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey, what is it? I, I thought I saw something in the mirror inside the car. I don't know why. I expected that to be a little bit more creepy, but ah, I got my hopes. I guess I got scared from that thing. Hey, there's nothing in the car. It's fine. We're just on edge after what we saw. The bearded man checks the back seat to make sure there's nobody there. See? Nothing. S sorry. Sorry. It's just my nerves. It's fine. We're both a little on edge. Let's keep driving. Okay. The two men pull out to the empty parking lot and get back on the road. The car continues to trip down the road. Your parents called earlier. Oh, yeah. This again. Skip. 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 Well done about the man. Let's see the rearview mirror again. Why? 
Just why? Why does he keep looking back? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just seeing things. It's nothing. It's so I'm nothing? Hey, are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I'm just seeing things. And that... Is that what I am? An illusion? Yes. Who are you talking to? Nobody. There's nothing going on. So, is this not real? The reflection drags its finger across the back of the driver's seat. Sweet black nectar seeping out of its pores and onto the smooth leather. It's not real. It's just a reflection. Why don't you look back here and see for yourself? No, once I acknowledge that you're real, you'll be here. You're just an illusion caused by stress. Hey, who are you talking to? This is seriously worrying me. Did you take your meds today? <laughs> oh, he's on meds. Isn't that... Yeah. Don't worry. It's all fine. It's just a figment of my imagination. Oh, gosh. He's off his meds. Oh, oh, no. Somebody get this man his meds. Could a figment of your imagination do this? The reflection wraps his hand around the man's head and it reaches deep into his throat, filling his body with the same nectar black as the dark side of the moon. The man struggles to breathe as he maintains his eye contact with the road. Black tar pours out of his mouth and his nose and runs down his body and pulling on the floor. What? What's that stuff coming out of your mouth? What's going on? The bearded man tries to do something. He grabs onto the blonde man and tries to get him to slow down. But his efforts are futile. The blonde man is transfixed, trying his best to ignore the situation. He speaks through a mouth filled with tar. It's all fine. It's just an illusion. It's not fine. There's seriously something wrong with you. It's all fake. Everything is fake. I'll wake up in a few seconds with the taste of sleep lingering on my tongue and you in my arms. This isn't a dream. You're not okay. Please, just stop the car. I'm fine. We're fine. I love you so much. We're fine. Babe, please. <clears throat> wake up from whatever this is. Ooh, I'm trying to wake up. I, I, I'm drowning. Escapism is a powerful thing. It takes some many forms and serves as an excellent method of protection. I can be, it can be zoning out while waiting on a bus or it can be forgetting about all the work you have to do while trying to relax or ignoring the figure in the mirror that raises your sharp claws and blood made of murky water. Okay. However, escapism isn't a solution. As long as you ignore the issue, you only allow it to take hold of you and fill your mouth and your lungs with tar. While looking for some kind of solace, some kind of sanctuary, you find yourself gas ga uh, grasping for air. You're drowning and it's too late to wake up. These illusions, reflections, and figures from my, of your imagination aren't just that. They are very real and they are waiting for you to lock yourself up away from the world. You may think you have locked out the dangers of the world, but you have just locked yourself in with them. Bad end reflections. Ooh, alrighty. Well, ah, this time we're gonna talk to him. Hey, do you know why this place was torn down? Huh? There used to be a diner here, right? Do you know why they tore it down? Aunt Jill's diner? Yeah, I think that was the name. Yeah, I guess there was some kind of incident. Someone snuck something into something and it killed about half of the customers inside. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, it was a pretty big tragedy. Surprised you never heard about it. That sounds pretty bad. Did they ever find out who did it? He's right here, my man. Huh? No, nah, I'm just fucking with you. They caught the dude a few months ago, actually. It was pretty easy to give him the guilty verdict. Now, he's on death row. Glad to hear he's not running around, I guess. So, um, what are you doing out here this late? I don't know. What are you doing out here this late? For real, though. How are you just going to ask him? Just get, just out for a drive. I see. One of those nights, huh? Yep. And you? Guess I'm just chilling. I've always felt down to places where major tragedies have occurred. Something feels so oddly refreshing about it. It's like, it's like, sure, all these people died, but I haven't. 
outlive these people for the, no reason besides I've never been in some wrong time, wrong place situation. Shouldn't it be wrong place, wrong time? Never mind. Let's kind of, what that, uh, it's kind of humbling, you know? Like the universe has got all of us dangling on the string. We could end up like those people at the diner by chance. And chance alone. Jeez. That reminds me of that old sermon. It was about how we could get cast into hell at any second. Sinners in the hands of an angry God. Yeah, that one. The devil stands ready to fall upon the people and seize them as his own. At what moment God shall permit him. They belong to him. He has their souls in his possession and under his domain. The old serpent is gaping for them. Hell opens his mouth wide to receive them. And if God should prevent it, they should. They would be hastily swallowed up and lost. Let me guess. You're familiar with it. Yep. Stayed in college. That was one. That one was written by Jonathan Edwards in 1741. Long ass time ago. So, do you agree with it? That humans are naturally inclined to sin. And that God is just waste, waiting to punish us. I don't think every human is a sinner. But I do know one thing. Whatever God is up there pulling my strings, he's allowing I think we should go. See you folks later. The two men get back into the car, leaving the figure in the lot. Standing alone, the bearded man has a nervous expression. Hey, I'm sorry you had to listen to that. I know that kind of stuff doesn't sit well with you. It's, it's fine. It's just some stranger. Are you sure you don't want to head back? It's fine. That guy was just a weirdo. You can keep driving. Alright. The two men pull out of the road, the empty lot, and back on the road. The car continues his trip down the road. Ah, uh, yes, parents called, yada yada yada. Let's see. Um, oh yeah. Greenwood Drive. The car turns onto East East Greenwood Drive. I saw something weird at work today. Oh yeah? So I was driving like usual and I was out on some back road, kind of like this one. And there was this guy standing on the side of the road, but there's but here's the weird thing. He has some kind of weird bag on his face, so I couldn't see his face. A bag? Yeah, I just kind of drove past and chalked it up to him being some weirdo. But then I passed another guy. Different person, but with another bag. Just like the first guy. That's ominous. But then there were more. More? As I kept driving, they were mo there were more and more people with that same bag over their heads. Some were even in little crowds. What were they doing? Just staring. They were all just hanging out on the side of the road watching me drive by. That's, uh, really weird. You don't think it's some kind of coat, do you? It could be. Not sure. Not really sure. Maybe a coat. Definitely weird. Well, keep an eye out, alright? That kind of thing is pretty worrying. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, why would we have a coat out here in the middle of nowhere? You'd be surprised. It can happen, man. You never know what's going through the minds of these backcountry folks. Exactly. <clears throat> a cult would probably spruce things up around here, right? Not in a good way. I agree. Hey, check that out. What is it? It's a covered bridge. You don't see many of those anymore. They're all, they're all old as hell, so most of them aren't sturdy enough to hold a car. Do you think this one is sturdy enough? Probably not. Are you sure you want to risk it? Can't turn back. Why not? Just can't. Alrighty then, so how are you going to do this? I guess I can take it fast or I can take it slow. Which do you think will work better? Go wing slow. Listen, if this bridge can kill us, then I think you can handle that decision. Great, so I'm the one that has to make the tough decision. So what it will be? Go slow. Let's take it slow. Alright. The car begins to slowly cross the bridge. Is something creepy going to pop up? No. Whoa, whoa, stop. Oh gosh, no. Just no. I'm doing this in the dark. Uh, huh? Someone jumped out in front of the car. A young woman draped in a silky white dress stands in front of the car and flows in the breeze giving her an ethereal look. No, I don't want to see it. 
she's just standing there. It looks like she's trying to say something. Ha, ha, ha. Have you seen my baby? Huh? Please give me my baby. Wait, this sounds kind of familiar. Familiar? Yeah, there was an old urban legend about a woman on a covered bridge. My baby. And, well, she didn't lose her baby per se. She killed it and then herself. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I want to see my baby. So, is that the lady? Maybe. I mean, it's probably not the actual one, right? I can't say for sure, but I don't think we should get out of the car. <laughs> of course not! Why would you in the first place? What do we do? Just wait for her to go? Let's try to avoid running her over. Please, let me in. I'm so cold. No! I'm, I'm going to try to scare her off or something. Yeah, that's a smart thing to do. The man honks at the woman, then revs his engine. The woman shrieks and jumps to the side. Okay, I'm going to pass by now. Careful, that part there is pretty low. Be careful not to clip off the roof. Got it. The man goes over the bridge, passing the woman, taking care not to take off the roof of the cover bridge. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm getting chills down my spine. Ooh, doing this in the dark is not easy. Looks like we're back on the road. The two men continue their drive. Hey, do you ever think about how long it's been? What do you mean? How long we've been together? Okay, yeah. I already read this part. Should I put of course I do? Yeah, I'll say of course I do. I think I'm ready now to go home. That's good to hear. The drive home is mostly silent. The bearded man turns on the radio. To the same old station. It starts to rain, coming down in sheets. So why did you want to come out here anyway? I'm not really sure. Have you been feeling well? I don't really know. I guess I just felt like I needed to come out tonight. I guess I've had times like that. Just need to get out of the house and drive around. Never just late, though. Yeah, I know that feeling all too well. Maybe you need to start seeing someone. There's nothing wrong with getting help. And you know I'll still support you no matter what. Yeah, maybe. We're here. The truck pulls into the driveway of a big log house where the two men live together. The man turns off the engine and takes the keys out and the two men get out of the car. It's been a while since it's raining like this. I like the rain. It's nice. I like it too. The two men stand in the rain, soaking in it. The bearded man opens the front door and stands in the doorway. Are you going to come in or not? Sure, in a bit. Normal in? Really? Amba. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this word. I don't know why I cannot pronounce those words. I've had this problem since I was a kid. It's not fair. Alright, that was a... But I already I think I already did. Alright then. You don't have to worry about it. I'll stay out here and fill up. Sure that's a good idea. You sure? Yeah, you remember how I like my coffee, right? Of course I do. Black as night. You know me so well. The bearded man walks to the gas station while the other stays outside. He pulls out his credit card, uses it to pay for the gas, then puts the nozzle into the fuel filler. Gasoline, as gasoline begins to pour into the car, the man waits by with his hand on the pump. The man looks into the woods. Oh, bad idea. Looking at, the, looking at it long enough, it starts to feel as if it's starting, staring right back at him. The entrance is like a mouth, threatening to reach out with its gangly branches and grab him. 
pulling him into its gaping maw. It steers him down and fills his ears with the cries of frogs and toads and cicadas. The noise is deafening. What, what do you want? Hey, I'm asking you a question. What do you want? Just answer me. What do you want with me? I want to eat you. No. No, 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 no. I want to chew you up and spit you out. I want to feel your bones crunch under my teeth. I want to feel your organs mash and I want to chew on your eyeballs like grapes. The forest begins to reach out with the sharp claws and the gnashing teeth and the shrieking inhabitants. Stay away from me! Stay away! Are you okay? Huh? You, you were yelling at the woods. Is there someone there? Huh? N no, I uh, just got kind of spooked for a second. This dude is off his meds. That's not kind of. That's not kind of spooked. That's full on screaming at nothing. Are you absolutely sure you're okay? No, dude, he's off his meds. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I swear I'm all right. Please don't lie to me. I know you're not okay. Listen, this. This drive is helping. Really? I'm alright. You're not, dude. No, you are not. I, um, I got you that kind of gum you like. The pink flavor. Really? You didn't have to. It's no problem. I, I just want you to be okay. Alright? Alright. Sorry for worrying you. Uh, the take's full. That's good. The two men get back into a car. The car drives down the country road. So how was work today? Yada yada yada. Delusional lady. You're in a car with a delusional man. Stop. Oh, yeah. The road suddenly cuts off. Actually, that's not quite accurate. The road is still there, but it's covered in so many tree branches that it's nearly impossible to see through. Huh? What's with all these branches? I don't think I can get through. Maybe we should turn back and go somewhere else. I don't find. I don't feel like clearing out all those branches. All right. Before the driver could turn the truck around, he notices that the road behind the car has been covered in branches too. <gasps> they bent the wall. What the hell? The road was clear just a second ago. This is weird. How did those branches get there? How the hell am I supposed to know? The man can hear a faint grinding, a slight snatch, a slight gnashing, an indistinct scratching and scraping. Oh God! What is that? It's come for me. What are you talking about? Let's just get out. We can walk somewhere or try to clear away the branches. That ain't gonna work, dude. You guys are in trouble. No, you can't get out. Listen, you're clearly not in a great state of mind. There's nothing out there. Trust me. No. The scratching gets louder. Okay, fine. You can stay in here and I'll figure something out. No. 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 You can't get out of the car. Just stay put. I'll get this all sorted out. The bearded man gets out of the car. He walks towards the back of the car and the footsteps stop. Please don't hurt him. Don't be naive. He's already gone. I've already taken him. N no. No, you couldn't have. He just got out. How can he be out there when I just snapped his spine with my sharp teeth and crushed his skull with my powerful claws? 
No. 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 You're lying. I know you're lying. Are you going to come out and check? You're trying to trick me. Trying to trick you. I will never intentionally lie to you. Only tell the truth. I'm eating him as we speak. No. I know he's out there. Then come out and get him. The man eases his anxious breast and I sound like I said breast. <laughs> his anxious anxious breaths. See? Sound like it is. And opens the car door. He lifts his foot out of the truck and onto the cold hard pavement. He gets out of his seat and stands in the road with the car door still open. The night air is cold and it reaches into his bones and chills him to the core. What where is he? The bearded man is nowhere to be seen, but we already knew that. The forest doesn't lie. The forest has no malice, no compassion. It only waits for its next meal. Oh my. The forest is dark, and it is hungry, and it is waiting. It snatches you up, and before you even realize it, you are between its teeth, and it brings them down. It will grind your bones to dust and it will mash your organs between its teeth and it will lick your blood off of its claws, sharper than razors. Once it's set its eyes on you, no man can even dream of escaping. Bad ending, carnivore. Car Forget it. <laughs> I can't. I swear I can never pronounce words. Okay. Fast. I want to go over fast. Go for it. it. Let's effing do this. The man revs up the engine, making a real show of it. Quit the showboat, huh? I'm a speed king, bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh. The truck backs up and takes off towards the bridge. However, it seems as if the man overrests me and the higher the bridge's roof. Ooh. The roof of the truck clicks off some of the roof of the covered bridge. As the car crosses the bridge, the man stops the car. Oh no. That didn't sound good. That didn't look good. I think we just destroyed a historical monument. I wouldn't say we destroyed it. Just, uh, damaged it. Well, what now? I know this is incredibly as possible for me to say, but we leave it. <laughs> just like when we were in college. Aw, uh, come on. You were half the reason we did stupid shit. You were my partner in crime. Guess I was a good enough partner in crime to make you stay, huh? But yeah, let's uh just go. It's not like anyone's gonna figure out who it was, right? Oh, well, you never know. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Two men stand up there. Looks like a woman standing on the side of the road as a woman draped. Oh, it's the same woman again, draped in a silky white dress, flowing on. In the cool wind. She looks pretty messed up. Maybe we should stop her for now. Or what? Wait, what? Wait. I don't think I read that right. The car slows to a stop next to the woman. Her face is obscured by her long flowing hair. She has a slim, almost malnourished figure. The man rolls down his window. No. What? What are you doing out here so late at night? You took a piece of me with you. What do you mean? The bridge. You took a part of me. The bridge? What is that? Oh. You saw that, didn't you? How could you have not seen... How could you have seen that? Then gotten this far out. You brought me with you. What's that supposed to mean? The woman resp responds by bringing her face to the man, kissing his cheek. He's so shocked that he doesn't even jump away. It's a trap! Run! Hey, that's my boyfriend! The woman moans a bit and opens her mouth. No, just... No. Then bites into the blonde man's cheek. A spurt of warm blood starts gushing out. The bearded man tries to reach out to save him, but the woman pulls him through the window. Go away for the little I think I did. I already recorded this part, but because it looks kind of familiar. She grabs 
him with inhuman strength, lifts him above her head, and she launches him towards the car, which he blasts into the side of, merely losing consciousness. No, no. The blonde man is on the ground in a puddle of his own blood. He can feel himself slipping away, but perhaps he can pass out. The woman leaps upon him yet again. She bites into his neck, ripping through his flesh. The man can no longer breathe and finds himself choking on blood. As she fades into blackness, the last thing she sees is the last thing he sees is the woman above him covered in blood. The night will be filled with the sounds of tearing through flesh and grinding of teeth. The man died, covered in his own blood, with his lover tossed aside, helpless. He had been put in a position of other hopelessness. The story goes that there was a woman who killed her child and then herself. She now haunts the site where the crime was committed, a covered bridge. When crossing the bridge, you must take care not to open the doors or the windows and you must not damage the bridge in any way. If you damage the bridge, she'll be able to follow you. She wanders the night in search of her long lost baby, not realizing that she was the one who had taken its life in the first place. There are stories like this everywhere, urban legends about death and despair, like a constant shadow over the community. Keep an eye out for those stories and pay attention to them. Someday they may be a difference between life and death. Of course, bad in mother. Wonder if it'll change anything. I'm sure I could figure it out again if I tried. I'm sure you could. I guess I was kind of in a band or least, uh, Those look like it. On the side of the road up ahead, three people standing around. Hitchhiker, should we talk to them? I want to see what happens when you drive by. Let's just keep going. They seem pretty weird. Yeah, that's reasonable. I'm trying to brace myself from getting the heebie jeebies. Too many continue their drive. Hey, do you ever think about how long it's been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm ready now to go home. That's good to hear. You drive most silent. Man turns on radio station. Starts the rain coming down the sheet. Not really sure. Are you feeling well? I I don't really know. I guess I just feel like I need to come out tonight. I guess, uh, no, 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 we're here. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, well, I just got the same ending again. Well, I guess that's it. I mean. I don't know if that's all the endings, but that's all the ones I can find. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, <clears throat> you know, those of you who are watching, I appreciate the views, you know. I'm trying to keep myself motivated to keep doing uploads, at least daily. If not, I try to at least do two videos a day, if not just one. But, um... Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next